Oh, <laughs> rage art. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely white John and Lee on the ones and twos, and this is Wayne Cena Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't ever seen. And if you've read by the title, you know it's time. Dudia! For a reaction to Tekken Bloodline. Man, I've been waiting for this, man, because this seems like it's gonna be the best of both worlds. Because you know, Tekken, for the most part, it's like CG animated. You know what I'm saying? At least the games are. CGI, sweat, muscle, and blood and stuff. A little bit of boo physics, even though they don't really focus on that a lot, you know what I'm saying? At least with the the earlier characters they didn't, but you know, they changed it up. They getting bustier characters up in there, but that's besides the point. But yeah, Tekken, for the most part, we've been seeing a lot of CGI stuff, especially with the most, uh, the one that came before this, the recent Tekken movie, Tekken uh, Blood Vengeance. But this one right here, it's like CG and 2D mixed together. They just meet perfectly, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how Kazuya mm -hmm. and my man Gene do anytime that Namco Bandai logo come on. So yeah, man. So I, I think you're gonna enjoy this. What do you got to say? Cause I know you you somewhat familiar with Tekken, right? Yeah, I've been playing it. Well, I had been playing it since I was three. I really used to like it a lot when I was a child. Um, the one I was the most familiar with was probably Tekken Four. Mm. I remember playing Tekken Three. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might have played one before that. But I know I played Tekken 3, and 4 was my stuff, and then 5, I used to like that one a lot. Was there a Tekken 6? Yeah, we're on Tekken 7 now. I don't know why I don't remember a Tekken 6. <laughs> I don't know why. I know Tekken 7 exists. Tekken 6 was the one where we jumped into PS3 territory. Even no though wonder. Tekken 5 I had a remake. completely skipped over anything PS3. having to do with a PS3. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, me and my brother used to like to play Tekken Tag Tournament 2 together, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of was playing with him. Anyway, yeah, so he really liked Tekken too, and he was, you know, Tekken like as, as well when you know he was younger. And uh, yeah, I, my favorite court character used to always be Eddie Gordo. Oh yeah, that was my dude. I, I used to think I was gonna marry. She was Eddie a Gordo. button masher, you guys. Eddie Eddie Gordo is button masher friend. Man, whatever. No, Circle he's not. X. Circle X. That's all you have to press. Because all slow ass. Couple of kicks and shit and flipping and dancing he be doing. Hell flippity no. floppity flu. Just no, press buttons and it'll it was do. not easy for me to win with him. It was easy for me to win with somebody like Nina or something like that. It wasn't easy for me to win with Eddie. Anyway, as I was saying, I just think that was gonna be my husband. I used to imagine <laughs> that he was real. Okay, I was like three or four guys. Okay, I thought that was gonna be my man. You could not tell me Brazilian men's was not beautiful. <sighs> uh, and then when Christy came along, I was ready to kill something. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about me and my taking struggles. Yeah, but anyways, guys, it seems like it's going to tackle into that territory of things that we wanted to see, which revolves around Gene and his upstart uh, in this world of uh, the King of Iron Fist tournament. So we're going to be seeing, I'm um, guessing, some of his mom and him interacting because that's something that we never really see a lot of, especially with the games. Yeah. We did get a glimpse of that up in the classic 1990s anime at the end, but we don't ever see her training Jean in the Kazama style like that. I remember his mom, and I don't remember when it came out. It was some uh, ball head live action movie. Oh my God. The one where they had Latif, <laughs> uh, I think his name was Latif Crowder. Yeah. Playing as Eddie. Uh -huh. uh, whatever that movie was. And no, we don't mention that movie. I don't even like to acknowledge that in the Tekken movie <laughs> library. That's the one. You couldn't tell me that movie. Well, no, it was terrible. Yeah, there was, was only bad. Even when two my younger self thought it was bad. Tekken movies. So that's all I'm acknowledging. I don't care. I don't even care if that was a sequel to a live action so-called Tekken movie. But yeah, man, we're going to see more of uh, Gene's upstart up in this man see him training with his grandpa too to learn the machine mm -hmm. style so without further ado guys i don't waste want to waste any more of you guys time let's do this we're going to be watching the dub by the way because it helps us move along and catch everything that needs to be said up in the show so here we go whose eyes peer at you from the dark is that kazuya Girl, Jen. Okay. Let's get him. Come on, guys. 
in our typical bully voices. Right? Bullies always be sounding so raggedy. Right. Now he just got this shirt from his mom and here they go picking on him. Imagine being a bully and picking on somebody else because your life is miserable. Tubby in the game. What? Are you going to run back to your mom? Hey. Didn't see that coming now, did you? Woo! Ooh, a little tooth to go along with it, man. Hey. Nigga, you thought that stick was gonna do something? Like I ain't put no electricity behind that shit, bitch. Mom, how dare you? Mm -hmm. What was she doing when it was beating my ass? It doesn't matter. No one to stop. They got mom looking good. They do. She don't always look good, though. Have you ever thought that it's because you don't belong? <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Way to make me feel better. Jen, those kids resent you because they're never going to leave this place. Yeah, they grow up here, they, they live here, and they die here. Well, you... You're meant for more in this life. And deep down, they know that. One day, you'll leave this island, you'll travel, you'll see the world, and, and I have no doubt accomplish great things. You shouldn't have hurt them. They was fucking me up. Training in the Kazama fighting style long enough to defend yourself. Mom was a little out of touch, seemed like. And that's what disappoints me. You lost a fight today, Jen. They was gonna get a perfect win. You lost the fight with yourself, Jen. Dang. The battle against your anger. Besides, a strong mind, a strong body. <laughs> <laughs> he got the little oh, Kazuya. He got the Mashima uh, blowout at the back, y'all. <laughs> the Mashima blowout. That's all it is. It's just a blowout. You know, they got that shit spiking. <laughs> Super Saiyan style. She gonna put him in a re reversible. Yep. <laughs> my mom, when I think I'm gonna go get something to eat before I do my chores. <laughs> hey. My boy got on them Air Deckus, don't he? Remember, dear, the first opponent you must defeat in any fight is yourself. You must conquer your thoughts. If you're distracted, how are you gonna see the clear path to defeating someone else? Then, and only then, can you start moving ahead. Uh oh! Remember, you can counter any opponent's size and strength with surprise and technique. For instance, she about to turn up on some. The fuck? Got that unicorn power? She do. They go your favorite move, the little kick they do. <laughs> I don't think she taught him how to do that, though. Or I don't think he... This man too astonished to even try to... Ooh. Counter. How did that happen? That's she did a cancel? What is that? An EX cancel? Ryu Unsui technique. Didn't see that coming? No. <laughs> Let's practice it. I feel like I'm watching an Imbu intro, y'all. <laughs> yes. See, I recognize that move. On that block, I just redirected his force and used body weight against him. Mm. The rest was up to gravity. <laughs> Oh shit. The fuck is that? That's gotta be who I think it is. Shrek? Come on out, Shrek. 
<laughs> my nigga's trick. If you I had looked at my window and seen that, I'd probably immediately die. Rocks. Just on the spot. You just die. <laughs> No, not See, so it ain't like that up in this world. When something come at you, no. an energy bar appeal over your head, and it turns to a two D side scroller. I want you to go find your grandfather, Heihachi Mishima. Well, you know this nigga ain't shit. You just said that because you got money. Hey, sometimes life life calls for defense. Sometimes for offense. Promise me you'll always know when to use which. Fuck. I hope it ain't. I hope it ain't gonna be like I think it is. I'm down on the spot. <laughs> Looking at that. <laughs> Come on now. Gonna die, step me. Ah, man, you could jump out there and turn this to tech and tag if you wanted to. I'm just I saying. I'm confused between this character and the character he looks like in Mortal Kombat. Are you talking about a uh, Kodo Khan? I think so. Well, Kodo Khan isn't an ogre. He's just a nigga painted in green makeup or whatever. Then they got an ogre in Mortal Kombat too, though. Well, they got something up in there. I don't think it's an ogre. I don't know what it is. Anyway, enough about that. This nigga ain't even paying attention to him. Wow. Bitch slap me then. Is this character that's strong in the game? I mean, he's a final boss or a prime... I don't know. He's the boss before the final boss, which is himself. Which is like a transformed version of himself. In which one? In Tekken 3. That's what This takes place before the events of Tekken 3, I guess. Get him in the ball! Everybody... Hey. No, that would work. Shit. That's not making too promising. Fuck, bro. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. He can't do nothing to roar. I mean, Ogre never talked. Oh. Shit, people didn't start talking until Tekken 4. Oh shit, the oxygen tank or a gas tank. She putting pure energy behind those punches. It's still okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Do the flip kick. This probably gonna take all her damn energy. There we go. Yeah. I love you, Jen. Why are you saying that? But she really sacrificed herself. Boy. So this nigga gotta travel all the way to fucking where is that at Japan? My name is Jin Kazama. Hey, Hachi Mishima is my grandfather. Kazama. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Shouldn't you be out somewhere sipping over girls from the damn canyons? <laughs> the type. <laughs> what do you want? I mean, I it sound a little uh, menacing. I know, I thought this voice was going to be a lot there have been gruffer. There an intruder trying to sneak into the building. An intruder? 
All I see is a street rat that thanks to you has wandered in. Kazama. The son of Chun Kazama, she said. You were my grandfather. Leave the boy here with me. Tell me, go find him out yes. and throw him off a cliff. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shit, he could just throw him off a cliff, like uh, out of the building. That too. They are in a building, right? They outside. Don't it's like outside. he was in an elevator and I was like, me. Sir, what? what? Do not make me repeat myself. <laughs> I didn't come here to fight you. I said, fight. I was taught never to fight unless attacked. <laughs> He's been attacked. Boy, he put some electric mustard behind him. <laughs> Worst granddad ever. Woo! Hey, I actually ain't playing with that nigga, man. You're not worth my time. Mm. Think your grandpa is bad. You shouldn't even want to meet up with your dad. The green monster killed my mother. She told me to find you. She made me promise to find my grandfather, Heihachi Mishima. I won't leave. What did you say? Who said green? Boo you green. Seen it. it came for us and it killed my mother. And with or without your help, I'll find it, and I'll kill it. The creature that killed your mother is known as Ogre. Shrek. I will train you to fight him. I will train you to defeat him. In return, you will prove to me you're worthy of your ancestry, even if it kills you. Gee, thanks, Randy. <laughs> really nice to get to know you. Yeah, that was episode one, man. That was a pretty good introduction to these characters again in anime. In anime, CG with 2D cell shading, if you want to call it that, man. Everything looks good like I thought it would. Based on the trailers, we already knew it had a nice design that was going to fit well with the Tekken formula. So that was great. Still a lot of unanswered questions on how Kazuya and Joan even got acquainted with one another. I'm pretty sure they just crossed paths during the uh, second King of Iron Fist tournament, which was in Tekken 2. You know what I'm saying? When Joan made her appearance, her debut, basically, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, this uh, confirms some other stuff that I had questions about because for the longest time, it was a big debate going on if Ogre was the one who killed Joan. Because in one of the opening cutscenes where Gene is just kind of reflecting on things, you see this flashback of Ogre holding a head, a severed head in his hands, but you can't make out who, it's, who it is. Mm -hmm. And I always put two and two together that it was June Kazama, but everybody was like, no, it wasn't her, and they don't really confirm if it's her or not. But this is essentially saying that that was the case, you know, just in a more brutal fashion as opposed to just a house exploding. And both of them getting caught in the explosion. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, that was pretty cool. It was also cool seeing uh, Jean take up uh, the Kazama style, which seems to be a more pure essence of martial arts uh, or judo. I know they got like some little judo moves that they do because they had their little stance and stuff, kind of like how my girl Asuka do. You know, she can to the Kazamas too. But uh, what did you think about that? I thought it was pretty great. Um... I don't know one day i'll be able to actually share my thoughts on stuff on camera but whenever i'm on camera i just can't think right she like looking at my pectorials y'all because if you notice when i do this and stuff my pecs just kind of go up and down no i don't i don't know what it is on camera i'm just not the same person as i am off because when i'm off camera <laughs> i'll be talking she can talk off. her ass i can talk to off. him for hours and hours on end about the same thing or about different things or about nothing but uh, I don't know. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I 
F minus for that voice. I'm sorry. I know somebody's yeah. gonna be like, probably. I ain't gonna lie. If it's... y'all watch this, y'all will be like, if you don't want you didn't have an easy. Right. But um <laughs> No. I anyway. Do, I do like the one from um the Blood Vengeance uh movie, the CG movie. That that English voice actor was good. And I also like the one from Soul Calibur. Yeah, this dude sound like some squeaky you sound like Splinter. Hey man, you got nobody but yourself to blame. And even Splinter doesn't even sound that bad. I was like, I was like hey, watching the Japanese or whatever. Well, now if we turn it over to Japanese and the voice actor ain't no better, then I'm really gonna. I be mean, bad. they use most of the main cast from the games. Except, I don't know how the English well, apparently vo- they didn't speaking do it for characters English, are. They sound a hot ass mess. Anyway, F minus for that dude's voice, but uh, overall A plus for the actual episode and just everything in general. Oh yeah, F's in the chat too for all uh, the two Heihachi Japanese voice actors that passed away. You know what I'm saying? Including my man Joseph Joestar. He was one of them. Got Daisuke Gotti and the guy that did the voice of Joseph Joestar from the 2014 Stardust Crusaders. So yeah, uh, really good, man. I can't wait to see all the rigorous training that Gene is going to undergo because you already know how it is when it comes to Mishima training. A lot of child neglect, a lot Woo! of just figure it out your damn self. And shit, let's hope Gene don't get thrown under the damn Mishima Zaibatsu chambers. Right, a lot of let me damn near murder you. Right, because you know how Heiachi is. Like, oh, he, he good with you if you ain't got no kind of demonic curses inside your body, you know? So we're going to go ahead and keep it moving and grooving to episode two, man. Let's go ahead and do this. Mr. Mishima, the young man has requested a flame design on his new trainers. Slightly arrogant, sir. That's what You're the young kids are target. doing nowadays. So He's fuck it. already a target. He is Mishima. Many will come to challenge his legacy. And when he fights them, what is or isn't on his uniform will be the least of their concerns. Right? Right. However, your opinion is acknowledged. Everything that will come to you must be earned. You will pay in sweat. Okay. Sometimes At least he's instilling him in hard blood. work. <laughs> hard work. Yeah, sure. In That's what we call it. Your child training. abuse. You know, he been listening to that little Dirk and what's his name? Get it back in blood, man. I just love that opening. It's on a freaking like an arcade yeah, cabinet. I love that. Yeah, it's the Japanese arcade cabinets that are close by each other. Flames. Mm. And I can't believe a gall of that woman. Oh, no, Ma'am, did nobody ask you that? You're <laughs> supposed to take my measurements. Right. Oh, shit, they got us in a ring, in a TNA impact ring, too, at that. That looks like such a peaceful place. But being around here, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> then you was taking too long. The moment you step into that ring, you are not to turn your back on step anyone. into it yet, though. Not even me. The real fighting starts today. These two lanterns were gifts from my father, Jinpachi Mishima. He hired the most skilled stonecutter in Japan, a master at his trade, commissioned to create two exquisite lanterns. Mm. I guess you broke one of them. When Jimpachi, your great grandfather, presented the stone lanterns to me, he shattered one with his bare hand. It was a demonstration that we, Mishima, have great power. The power to build, or the power to destroy. Too weak to get back on your feet. Think of your helplessness. When Ogre killed your mother and let the anger that comes with that memory. So basically the exact opposite of what his mom taught him. Yeah. That's the thing. You're only to use hand techniques. Only upper body. Electric. Let's go. No legs. Attack! <laughs> Didn't you just say no legs? I thought we were only using our hand techniques today. You are only using your hands. Dance. 
or I will use whatever I see. Say, you can get a headbutt if you want to. You should already know that life is not fair. <laughs> the sound design is good. Cool. That other thing will kick yours. On your feet. There we go. I used to hate that move. Your blocks will do as much damage as your strikes. Your defensive techniques as painful as your offensive. Understood? Boy. Why they got the little fiery effect with it when he hit on now? <laughs> <laughs> what you didn't have, didn't it? I'm talking about just like in the games, though. You know, they got yeah. the little explosions like from the game when you get hit. <laughs> That's cool. I want to see your breaking ability. Granddad. <laughs> Focus. We are finished for today. Right, this is just the same day. <laughs> Nigga, I could do about six of these motherfuckers. Hey. When we're finished, Mishima style will break what your Kazama style could not. My guys actually found it. A uh, talisman from Jackie Chan. Uh, uh, Mr. Mishima, there were some unexpected expenses. I was hoping you could... Hoping what? A price was agreed upon when you accepted the job. Mm. I won't ask again. If Chang's pendant is so valuable, we'll just find another buyer. Jin, take the pendant from this trash <laughs> and show him with your fists what happens to those who cross us. <laughs> Let this man cut you! Right. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Now, finish him. Don't do it, Jen. No. He has a family to go to. Good. You must purge the Kazama pacifism and stoke your Mishima fire. Then I will get you those pants that you want that you have saved in your wish list. Tomorrow, we move on to the next level. Have a seat. No, Jin. Sitting stance until I'm finished here. By the way, mm. this may be related. That's cool how you got him constantly training. I can tell. More mm. have gone missing. Like those Han, Wang Jin Rei. Uh-oh. Okay. Here. Reports First King, see. In Mexico City say King has vanished. died. I think he died. Abby. None of our people have seen him. Li Chaolan? Not as of yet, sir. If any more fighters of an advanced skill go missing, I want to know about it. It's up to you. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Arms down. You must learn to evade when you're unable to block. Time to use those legs. Hey, let's go. Oh, they need a palm strike. Well, I just love the sound design in this. Never stay down. Down me to finish. What did a Tatsumaki? Hmm? He tried. He did. <laughs> Just grab my whole head then. Hey, you doing the same thing he did to Kazuya. <laughs> you 
lose. Ooh. Great. Continue. Right. Ten. Nine. Okay, he got a school uniform. That's a classic look. <laughs> Here we go. Got my boy how wrong up in this thing. Yeah. You must fight your way past me to leave. Okay, I got the foot guards on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This room on your own two feet. Your training is complete. I can whoop your ass, old man. I like those yes. pants better than the iconic ones. Class dismissed. You did you say you gotta fight him? Yeah. Oh man, I thought he was gonna guard. I thought he saw that shit coming. He wasn't listening. See you tomorrow. Yes, nigga. I thought he would have learned by now. I even saw that coming. Alright, whatever. Okay, you got the... That shot you? Mm. Hey. The forever 14-year-old that doesn't age. <laughs> oh, Gene. He ain't healing up no faster, man. You better whoop this dude's ass. Get to come home from school every day and get beat up by my grandfather. Right. What a great way to live. Oh, nice. There you go. Shit, how many was that? I don't know. It was a good stack, she though. It was a film. <laughs> Ooh, the flames of revenge burn bright. Mm -mm. And now it's on my pants. Holly at my tailor. You've learned much. Yet all that I see in front of me is the frightened child who snuck into my headquarters four years ago. From the day I began training you, I've had a plan to bring back the King of Iron Fist Tournament and use it to lure Ogre out into the open. But it is useless to announce the tournament and lure the monster for you to challenge if you cannot beat him. You must not only fight him as Mishima, but also win as Mishima. Class dismissed. dismissed. If you don't guard this shit this time. I mean, I think he got it now. Okay, I was just gonna say, nigga. Nah, we're there together. <laughs> that would be funny. Hey, she like uh Garu's type. Sheesh. Weak. Pathetic. The entire time I've been watching this, I've just been imagining my granddad just beating me up. <laughs> Either one of them just beating me up. Hey, there you go. Did you go connect? I think so. Bitch! Did he hit him with it? Break it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I didn't tell you to break that. You don't have to pay for I that shit. I thought it was going to be mad. <laughs> now then, match. Mm. Hey. He got a perk. He do, man. Miss Mira. Begin preparations. It's time. The next king, king of Iron Fist King's tournament. tournament. Let's go. <laughs> but guys, that was episode two right there, yo. What you think? We got a, a post credit scene? I'm trying to make sure we don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I think the credits yeah, are they just always, long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was episode two, man. I really, really enjoyed that episode, man, because it was a lot of uh I guess like character building not only from like a personal in uh introspective standpoint but also from a, a physical one because we get a chance to figure out why my man gene has the flame on his pants you know what i'm saying yeah, that kind of makes sense though all along like even if somebody just came up with that theory like that makes sense yeah you know because like i guess we always see that like i say going back to the intro where we see like kind of like the flames we see like a a uh, vision of Kazuya, and then we see Joan, and then we see Ogre rising from the flame. I guess you know that does kind of explain it more in detail, but it's basically just more uh, of an exposition kind of thing with this, you know, with the uh, design on the pants and him actually working his way up to earn that, you know, because his flame has really just engulfed him completely in rage and vengeance. But now that it has, he's worthy of wearing it. Right. You know, so it's dope, man. Um, Heiachi got all the damn moves that we've seen before, man. Like, everything from the games, from Tekken 1 all the way up to Tekken 7, he got all that shit. Only thing I haven't seen him do is a little spinning kick. You know, he got a little spinning kick. Not the jumping one. Well, I think he do got a jumping spinning kick. But the one that goes up and then goes down with it, I ain't seen him do that yet, you know. That's one thing I hate about Gene. Like, when I first seen him when he was introduced... Mm -hmm. Uh, Cause I was coming off of Tekken 2 and I was so excited to see how Kazooie was going to play up in Tekken 3 but they scrapped him uh, to bring in a new generation of uh, characters like uh, Gene and in, in, in place of Martial Law you had um, Forest Law. A lot of next generation characters. How wrong he was brought in place uh, to take the place of uh, Bake or whatever his name is. Bake. Which uh, apparently all of them like Bake and King 1 all the old schoolers are getting killed by Ogre. You know, a lot of people don't even realize that that this is the second king that we're on. Like, the one that we see in all the new games, the recent games, that's king number two. You already have an armor king, too. You know, but now you have a, a king, too, as well. He got killed it. Right, yeah. So, so that's going to be interesting seeing that. I'm also interested in seeing if they're going to actually explore the double gene within Jin. I'm know? hoping they do. They better. Yeah, because they never really explained that in great detail, how he actually got it, other than the fact that, you know, Kazuya is his dad. You know, they don't really go into detail about that in the game. But we do see a cutscene of this purple-looking aura thing hitting him on the arm and giving mm -hmm. him, like, I guess, like the curse mark, the double gene curse mark, which allows him to turn into that form. So, yeah, I hope they explore that and him eventually casting off the Mishima, just being away with the Mishima uh, style altogether, because... Like, by Tekken 4, he masters his own technique. Mm. It's like he does away with everything. Even the Kazama, he just goes from the ground Forget up. Forget you all. Right, and just makes his own style. So I, I really want to see that because I ain't going to lie, a lot of people is mad at that. Because <laughs> they're, they're so used to playing with, like, uh, the Kaz uh, that Kazama. But Kazama and Mishima style, Gene. Mm -hmm. But by the time Tekken 4 came around, he was just kind of, like, so basic compared to what they were accustomed to in Tekken 3 and Tekken Tag. That, you know, it was like, oh, we don't like this. And then they brought in Devil uh, Gene to kind of, like, supplement that. You know, give him all the Mishima moves since Mishima is more demonic anyway. And I was like, okay, we'll give you guys that. But she, it was too late because Gene was out cold by the time Tekken 5 came out. He had to, shit, 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 shit. So, yeah, man. I'm giving that, uh, we didn't even rate the first episode, did we? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, I'm giving this episode an S and the last episode an S. 
an A plus. So there you have it, guys. But anyways, this is gonna do it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always, we have a blast reacting to them with you and for you. If there's anything that we may have missed or you think we missed, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. You know, it don't have to be just details that to correct us or anything. Just let us know about the things that you enjoy about this episode or these episodes in general. Are you feeling it? Are you liking how the lore is being expanded more in detail? And is there some things that you wish you could have seen in this that's explained? more kind of like how June met Kazuya and they actually just hit it off because Kazuya is such a cold bastard that you just can't see him hitting it off for nobody but the damn devil himself so yeah but this is your boy RBG aka the random black gamer my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos we ain't seen any reactions we'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Tekken Bloodline peace